what is going on? YouTubers, one shave is anyone else who happened to stumble across this video and just happened to watch a guy shave into a camera, talking to himself, talking to you. What is going on everyone? My name is Bill. You're watching the Wet Shaving Savage. So, we're gonna do a quick video today for you. A uh, newer product that I have. I wanna say this is new to their line actually as well. And that is Campania from Sterling Soap Company. Now, this is a, soap is inspired by Aqua Department's Fico di Amalfi. Hope I'm saying that right. If you're Italian and I offend you with that, please correct me. Uh, if not mistaken, Campania itself, or Com Campania, I don't know really how to say it. I know it's a town in Italy or a small city in Italy. Um, if, I'm, if I'm saying it wrong, please correct me, okay? I don't want to offend anyone with that one. But, uh, <clears throat> so, this is uh, Sterling's interpretation of what I'm gathering to be an Italian barbershop, honestly. And the smell, the oh. whole. Yeah, a huge Italian barbershop smell. It's got grapefruit, it's got lemon, uh, bergamot, a little bit of fig, a little bit of jasmine. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very citrusy, but not like obnoxiously citrusy, kind of like drinking an IPA. You know, if anyone here likes IPAs, some people, it's too, it's too much for some people, you know. But like me, I can't do IPAs personally. But that, anyway, off beer, back to shaving. Maybe I'll do a beer shave one day. Shave with a beer. Anyway, so <clears throat> that is the soap we're going to be using today. And as always, if you know me, you know I have to have everything matching. But I went ahead and did the glacial thing because, well, it's hot here in Virginia during the daytime, at least it is. If anyone's, if anyone's in the, you know, Williamsburg, um, Chesapeake Bay, Hampton area, you know it's getting cold at night for some reason. May I don't know why, but you know we're making it work, right? So I'm going to get a good little. Healthy scoop here on the Tortex Flex. I know a lot of people give me crap because I don't use a. Well, some, some, not so much give me crap. Some people probably want to get weird because why are you using such a skinny guitar pick? Yeah, well, I don't want to use my, my Hetfields. You know, James Hetfield Metallica signature guitar pick. You know, I don't, I don't want to use those. Those are for playing. I'm just saying. And I'd feel weird using my 345 soap pick. To scoop out Sterling. <laughs> All right. Uh, so for the uh, brush, I am going to be using. Had to grab my Wolf Whiskers synthetic. As you can see, I still to this day I won this brush in an online contest for my podcast, and oh, God, I still love this brush so much. It's such. It, so there's something about this brush. I don't know what it is. We're gonna try to keep this video under 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and get this brush nice and soaked. And start building the leather. So this video was originally supposed to be released. Uh, well, I did an original video on uh, Friday, I think. I was gonna do a Friday video shave, but between, so th two things were wrong. One, uh, so many bloopers in it. it. It was like a 40 minute video based on bloopers and I was just going to run with it and hope everyone enjoyed. And then, I guess in a thankful way, the video got corrupted and it wasn't able to upload it anyway. And honestly, it, like I said, the amount of bloopers, I mean, I was dropping my soap jar, my soap went in the water, my scuttle went in the water, my brush flew off that way somewhere. It, it went bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Alright, um, well, Okay, go ahead and call that good on the lather, I suppose. Really good, big lather. That's one thing I've always loved Sterling for. Their lather is out of this world. So, uh, get my face wet. Put that on there. Mm. Yeah, this today's video is already hopefully going to turn out better.
that lather. So, uh, for the blade, I'm going to be using, well, the razor, I'm going to be using my Rockwell 6S on a 4. And the blade in there is an Astra Super Superior or Superior Platinum. The blue one, Astra Blue. Let's leave it at that, alright? And, uh, and go ahead and get that wet. And we'll go ahead and start. So right off the bat, just like any other Sterling soap, and this is why Sterling is coming so one of my favorite companies right now, is uh, the slickness, that glide, it's amazing. I've, I've always really loved the, uh, the slickness of Sterling soap. They've always been very, very kind to my skin in, part, in that regard. And for the most part, I never really have irritation with Sterling. I mean, if I do get irritation, it's usually just my own fault because, you know. If I start bleeding right here, it's because I have a little, uh, like a little sit boil or zit or something like that. It's gonna be. I'm going at like I'm going at Donald Younger speed here right now. It's not normal for me to be done with the first pass in like less than 40 seconds like that. But you know I'm in a hurry today. I've worked out a little too long. Well, no such thing as too long a workout for me. You know, being a power lifter and everything, we and we pride ourselves on these longer workouts. Not so much pride ourselves, just we take our time, you know. But uh, so a little more about the soap. Uh, so it definitely the scent is definitely even more prominent uh, once it lathers onto your face, and it's. Me personally, this, I know it's like probably supposed to be a summer release, but I would wear this in year round, personally. That's me though. Some people like to have, you know, um, darker, earthier scents during the, um, you know, summer, I mean, during the winter, fall months, and others, like me, if it so smells good, it smells good. Now, am I going to wear like a super bright, super, super bright soap during the uh, winter months? Uh, probably not. There we go. A little bit gross. One day I'll be brave enough to try the Donald Younger straight against the grain first pass thing. My skin is just not made for that. It's you can't do it. You can't handle that. His skin is tampered to it, or tempered to it. My newborn's in the back talking a lot of shit right now. The teething process is getting better for her now, though. I know a lot. The last couple videos, some people have heard her crying. I've been thinking, you're neglecting her. No, she's teething. Not much I can do about that. Trust me. A little careful on the lip here because I've been getting a little irritation lately. Because unfortunately, I know a lot of people in the white shaving community can get away. And, you know, if they're having a little irritation, they can, uh, you know, sort of go a day, let their skin reset. Yeah, if you're in the military, you don't really have that luxury. And some people say, oh, why don't you just grow a mustache? I could in theory, but it takes me absolutely forever to grow a mustache. I'm honestly, this is BBS, 100%. I'm just going to go for a third pass and I don't want to waste this up. But uh, I, I could grow a mustache, but the problem is 
my genetics are not the greatest for a mustache. I, I've covered this in a previous video, one of my earlier videos. Uh, subscribers said I should grow one. And come November, you'll probably see it. And hopefully my genetics will be a little bit better every year. I hope every year that it gets a little bit better. Uh, so, uh, yeah. We don't, I don't have that luxury of skipping a day of shaving. On the weekends, yes, but unfortunately, I'm, I've been working night shift, and the night shift here for us is you go, you start working on a Wednesday, so you work a regular, a full, a regular shift, then you work the weekend, and then you take Monday, Tuesday off. Wednesday, you go in at like 5 p.m. to hit the night shift, and then you go until Wednesday morning. Like you go in, the last day you go in is Tuesday at 5 a.m., 5 p.m. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not getting a, a day off until, uh, like, I'm not getting a day off until, you know, Wednesday. But at the same time, though, I'll be off for five days. I'll be off that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So my thoughts overall, so far, as I shave with this soap, another masterpiece from Sterling, 100%. I've really, so like, you know, when I first started my shaving, I thought, you know, Phoenix was the only way to go. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I still am a huge Phoenix fanboy. I missed the freaking ascension. I missed the drop. Well, I didn't miss it, but I just didn't have the uh, funds at the time to buy it. And now I have the funds. It's gone. I was going to buy it in the purple tip, but, you know, if it didn't, I don't get to buy it. There's a reason behind it. Maybe something else is better is going to come along. You know. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll win a card for a titanium or a blackbird or something like that. I don't know. It'd be nice. Or a carbon. But, uh... Yeah, I really do love, I really have come to love Sterling as, like, tying up there for number one with Phoenix. It also doesn't help they are uh, military, veteran-owned veteran -owned and operated. Um, like most uh, wet, shave, wet shaving military guys, we learned how much our, our freaking skin hates, you know, how, how terrible cartridge really treats your skin. And the owner, he discovered wet shaving on a deployment to Afghanistan and then the rest is kind of history met his wife she was also a uh, she was a major he's a warrant officer there you go and they uh they named it after a um a Scottish uh, castle or something like that and then just took a random picture of a tree from Scotland and that's their logo and I really love that simple no real crazy exotic backstory just you know we love this castle we had fun here let's name our soap after it all right so we are 100% BBS smooth. Also, speaking of BBS, this shave was definitely 110% uh, inspired to go along with uh, BBS Live's Sterling Week. So, BBS Live, if you see this one, hey, it's directly inspired by you gentlemen, and uh, maybe one day I'll get to do a live shave with you gents. It'd be really cool. I'm gonna rinse off real quick, warm water and cold water, you know the drill. Miss the ears when I rinse. Wow, that is fantastic. That was a fantastic shave. Um, so now it's uh, it's a nitty gritty here. I'm a little concerned to put all this menthol on here. Let's let's see what happens. Hopefully it uh, hopefully it don't freeze my face. So, 
I don't know why this, the actual menthol crystal smell works so well with this. Normally I only do like two splashes lately, but oh yeah, I'm doing three just because I'm, I'm I'm digging this one that much. Oh, it's definitely getting it. I didn't get me in the eyes, but I'll just put a little bit in the nachos right there. I've been looking just anyway. Like, it's like an Italian Vicks vapor rub. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, oh my goodness, that is powerful. That, that menthol is just. It's strong, but it's not overbearing. I'm loving it. But uh, yeah, my overall thoughts. Yeah, this stuff right here, I'm digging it. Yeah. It'll be a sad day if Sterling ever decides to stop. Um, if you like, if you like that video, go buy some of that stuff right there. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't encourage you anymore to uh, go there, support a veteran-owned company like that, and get an amazing white shaving product. Uh, I'll put a link for it down in the description below down in there somewhere uh that's all i got for you guys today um i know i got some new subscribers i want to appreciate you all for subscribing uh leave some comments if you don't like what you're seeing let me know if you like what you're seeing let me know can't stop blinking because i have all that menthol like fuming up in there but uh that's all i got for you today um the, like i said it's sunday today people i know monday's tomorrow hey it could be worse though at least you most of you i'm sure hopefully you had a, a good weekend and uh, don't let don't let Monday get to you tomorrow. And that is all I got for you. That is, and that is uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stop before I stutter anymore. All right, everyone, happy Sunday. Wet Shaving Savage signing off.